Burgess says of his old school that it was one of my early signposts towards the east. I met its namesake in Malacca, where the eponymous saint had ordered the torture of Malay Catholic backsliders and held off by some miracle the invading Bugenese fleet. When Burgess returned uh, to Manchester, he visited his old school and he says that uh, the area around the school had been turned into a Muslim ghetto. Islam was growing, Irish Catholicism disappearing. Very good. Accept change. The Friday call of the Muezzin instead of the Sunday summons of the bells. An Asiatic Manchester instead of the European one of my youth. He writes that there was an unwilled obscenity in the school motto which I had met in the prospectus. Concordia res parvae crescant. This was blazoned high over the stage in the school hall. Many a boy, inattentive or bemused at the music lessons held there, would I see shutting from his eyes with a finger all except the last four letters. It was like reading a banned book. And the meaning of the motto, small things grow big, etc., had a complimentary phallic overtone. Burgess writes of Brother Martin, whom he describes as the big brother who ruled the school. His true name was Eugene McCarthy. He was, of course, Irish, with a long Irish head and a long Irish neck and bouts of Irish neurosis. To join the order entailed a vow of celibacy, but not one of temperance. Brother Martin had bottles in his rooms and access to a very decently stocked cellar. Burgess goes on to say, Brother Martin may, as some alleged, have tried to get to the bottoms of various of the more beautiful junior scholars but we never got to the bottom of him. He would talk much of Christ and the beloved disciple and suggest that there were works hidden in the dust of the Vatican Library which countenanced, on the Christine example, carnal love between man and man. Brother Martin alone gave physical punishment. The masters and the old mistress might slap, punch or shake, but Brother Martin made a ceremony of the cane on hands or bottom at the day's end and on the stage in the school assembly hall. He naturally preferred the bottom to the hands